In this problem, block A and B are connected through this cable and pulley system. The cable and pulley system is frictionless and weightless. Um, initially, block A has a speed of 3 meter per second along this surface, inclined surface up. And uh, there is friction between block A and the surface. Uh, the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.15. And we need to determine the speeds of block B at t equals to 6 seconds, as well as the tension force in the cable. Tension force is constant and is the same everywhere along the cable. So, first of all, we need to recognize that this is, again, um, dependent motion. Therefore, if we, we can do a quick analysis if we set this to be the datum for A. So this is SA. And this is the datum for B. And this is SB. So you can see that SA plus 2SB is a constant L, which means that VA plus 2VB equals to 0. And um, AA plus 2AB also equals to 0. Well, actually, we don't need acceleration in this, in this case. However, in this equation, VA is defined this way. So if VA is defined this way, and VB is defined this way, then VA equals to negative 2VB. In our case, as you can see, VA is defined this way. Okay, So if the direction of VA is along the sl slope up, and direction of VB stays the same, that's a vertical down, if that's the case, then VA actually always equals to 2VB. No negative sign, because you only have the negative sign if VA is this way. Okay, So because VA is always 2 times VB, um, therefore VA1 is 3 meter per second, VB1 equals to 1.5 meter per second. So initially, if VA is, if block A is not at rest, block B will not be at rest either. So now, we're going to apply the principle of linear mo mo momentum and uh, impulse and momentum uh, for block A and B, respectively. And then we will have two equations. We do need to solve for two unknowns, the force T as well as, as the speed. We actually need to solve for three unknowns, force T, speed of B, and the speed of A, but because we have this equation, that connects, that relates the speed of A to B. Therefore, we need two equations to solve for two unknowns. So we start with block A. If we do a free body diagram, it's subjected to its own weight. That is um, mg uh, 10 times 9.81, which is 98.1 Newton. Normal force and uh, tension force T and the frictional force in this direction. Because there's no motion along this, let's call it y prime direction, therefore from there we can solve for n normal force equals to weight times cosine 30 degree, which equals to 84.96 Newton. So that is a quick equilibrium analysis along the y prime direction. Therefore, the frictional force equals to mu k n, which is going to be 0 0.15 times normal force, that's 12.74 Newton. T is unknown. So now, if we choose to summarize the linear momentum and impulse along the x prime direction, along the x prime direction for block A, we have ma vx prime 1 plus we have an uh, integration of f dt, but in this case, because all our forces are constants, so we can just simplify that to f times t. So total force along the x prime direction times t equals to ma v x prime a 
1 x prime a2 so ma is 10 v x prime a1 is 3 plus total force along the x prime direction we have t which is unknown minus ff 12.74 in this case normal force does have sorry weight force does have a component along the x prime direction normal force doesn't no normal force is along the y prime direction which is perpendicular to x prime direction but weight force does have a component of 98.1 times sine 30 degree so that's the total force along the x prime direction times the time of six um, second that equals to the mass 10 times v x prime a2 however don't forget this equals to 10 times v b2 times 2 because of v a equals to 2 v b Two vb two. So we have this one equation, but with two unknowns, t and vb two. Right now, we cannot solve for uh, either one of the unknowns. That's okay. Let's move on to free body diagram of block B. For block B, it is subjected to its own weight, twenty times nine point eight one, which equals to one hundred and sixty nine uh, ninety six newton. And then, because there are two cables pulling on block B, therefore, that's 2T right here. Okay. So, if I choose this to be my positive Y direction, then along the Y direction, I have MB, VB1, plus total FY times T, that equals to MB, vb2 so 20 kilogram vb1 is 1.5 meter per second don't forget the direction is vertical down therefore that's positive 1.5 plus the total force along the positive y direction vertical down being positive is 196 minus 2t times 6 second and that equals to 20 times vb2 so now I have write one equation of linear impulse, principle of linear impulse and momentum for block A along the x prime direction. And then I just wrote a second equation for block B. And that is along the y direction, which is a vertical down for B. So I have two equations and I only have two unknowns, T and VB2. So by coupling these two equations, I can solve for both of my unknowns. And that's going to be T equals to 86 Newton and VB2 equals to 8.76 meter per second. From there, you can solve for VA2, even though it's not asked for, but VA2 simply equals to half of that. That is 4.38 um, meter per second. So VB2 is in this direction. VA2 is in this direction along the slope. You can try to solve the same problem using Newton's second law coupled with kinematics, and you should get the same answer.